So iOS 17.4 has just officially came out. So let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone XS and see if it's worth installing. Now this was actually a pretty good update. I had the RC installed and like the, all the other versions installed too. I guess I didn't get a chance to actually look at the actual you know, size of this particular update at that time I installed it, but it was a pretty good size update because there are lots of things actually being added in this particular version of software. So for one, we are getting a lot new or a lot more newer emojis on this particular update, which is actually very cool. I think there's 28 new ones. So we should be able to see those coming out here, which is so cool. So if you're into that kind of stuff, if you want to use those newer emojis, and if you want to see them, you will have to go through and actually, you know, update your particular iPhone in order to actually, you know, see those updates. Apple Podcasts also got a little bit of an update. So if you're using transcripts within them, you should now be able to see transcripts within the podcast update. Specifically for the 15 and 15 Pro models, now this may transition down lower, but if you're on these particular versions of softwares, you should be able to see that under battery health and charging, there should be, I guess, a new option that just tells you a new thing where it tells you like your battery health is normal or something. I guess here I'm still getting the number, but before, I guess you should be able to see that there's a either like a normal setting or something that's only for the newer ones. In Apple Cash, there's a virtual card number being associated with it too. But the bigger changes are coming in the EU. So if you if you own an iPhone XS and you're within the European Union, you should be able to see, I guess, some capability for some sort of third-party app stores. Now, it's not going to be what you think, but there's going to be ability of an alternative payment methods within apps, third-party default wallet apps, I guess other third-party browser engines, like tons and tons of things and tons of ways that developers can take advantage of, you know, iOS 17.4 and the iPhone's built-in, you know, third-party app store, I guess, that you should be be able to see within, you know, the iPhone XS on iOS 17.4. So we're going to have to kind of wait and see what happens there. But there's a lot of other cool little changes here and there too. There's a lot of stuff all over the place. But those are basically so far some of the bigger changes. Again, I think this was a really big change for the EU iPhones. But all the other ones, I think it was kind of like a, you know, good size one for sure. I would probably recommend installing it. It wasn't that big of an install. You know, I mean, it was a good size install for sure. But there were a couple of things that, you know, came and went with this particular update. And I do think in the next couple of days, we're going to start seeing whether this update is going to be good or not. I will be doing a full-on battery test very, very soon within this update. But I think the big thing people are going to see here for the most part that people are going to be excited about is basically the new emojis and potentially the new marketplaces if it actually comes out. So there's also a really big change within iMessage as well. So iMessage, there's the quantum protection, so it's going to do a lot more end-to-end -end encryption. A very big thing too within iOS 7, within iOS 17.4 as well. So that in and of itself is probably going to be another massive change as well. So those are basically the main things here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.